everyone. Um, we're doing this again. Uh, people hey! <laughs> people yeah. call me Wit sometimes. Uh, and this is my good friend, I guess, Tiberius. Uh, for whatever oh, hey, reason, we hey. never use our real names, but I forget to, and I'm gonna call you by your real name sometimes anyway. No, you can, I'm, I'm Kirk. We went to high school together. And, yeah. Uh, his audio is a little quiet, but I'm not that upset by it. Um, My audio is quiet? Yeah, but it was quiet for me. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not that quiet for them. I can't, I don't know anything. Maybe you've just started tuning me out. I don't think that's true. We haven't spoken in some time. Maybe, you know how like, uh, like, if there's a smell in the room, like after a while you don't smell it anymore. Like for 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 you, I am that smell. Like after a while you just don't hear my voice anymore. I I object to that implication. I don't get to talk to you very often. Emergency power. Oxygen production offline. Pay no attention to the computer voice. Um, it loads in the fact that I have a base before it loads in the fact that my base is powered. Um, so it gives me the warrant. I have to dismiss this window. Power it's very restored. irritating. There it is. You know what? I, I have the same exact problem in real life. I get I get a an email every every month from from the water and power company saying like, hey, there's a problem with your credit card. That's you should deal with that before it's time to pay us. And then every month without fail. Uh, I pay them automatically without any trouble, and they From still think that companies? there's a problem. Ah, uh, no, it's the same company. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. And I figure I could call them, or I could just send those emails to spam and not deal with it. Uh, I imagine that's <laughs> no, what I, I would do. Solve the problem <laughs> by ignoring it. So this is my base. A lot has happened since the last time I streamed. I built a base. Oh, you have a chair now? <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. I have this little indoor grow bed, and a water filtration machine, and this little sleeping area. Uh, I collected all these fun things from Rex. Uh, they added a bobblehead of Markiplier into the game. Who? Oh my god. Who is that? Markiplier is a relatively famous streamer. He's not quite PewDiePie, but I'd say he's second. And he did a lot in this game during its um, beta and alpha phase, its early access phase. So I think they added this um, as a thank you for all the attention he ended up bringing to the game. Ah, I see. Um, so today, we are going to wait for these batteries to charge. Uh, because those batteries go to another thing that I built. Wait, did you just open the door? Your place is flooding right now. Yeah, they, um, they do a lot of hand-waving when it comes to airlocks. As in, there are none. I don't know, it's space magic. <laughs> um, I built a big ol' submarine called the Cyclops. Named for this your big... Your submarine's bigger than your house. It, uh, yeah, my house is pretty small. Um... The Cyclops is intended to be like a mobile base. So you'll see that I've got a lot of things in there. Um, the reason I'm here on this planet is, is that. Um, we done crashed. This big ol' ship and I. That was my escape pod. As far as I know, I am well, the only survivor. Well, that escape pod made it pretty far from that ship. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing, yeah. Good thing you made it that far. It's true, because then it exploded, and that's why it's all on fire. Oh, okay. The front of it got all blown off. Well, good thing it landed in the water, otherwise that fire would have been a big problem. Yeah, um, as far as I can tell, basically all of this planet is water. There is one island, and one floating island. You cannot see them from here. Uh, the floating island's kind of- oh, it's becoming night- it's either nighttime or there's an eclipse. That looks like nighttime. Let's go to- we can go to sleep, because we are where my bed is. Uh, but first, we need to meet friend. This is friend. Aww. He kind of reminds me of my dog. It's like a little friend black is my cuddlefish. 
Uh, and they are very sweet. Wait, does he have six legs instead of eight? Uh, I... No, it's five. It's five and two tiny little arms. Uh, we do not use um, gender with friend because scans have shown that all uh, fauna on Welcome this planet aboard, are monogendered and capable of asexual reproduction. Uh, that blows my mind. How do I? How do I? What do I call him? Uh, we just use it's them, Demet. and we call we call them friend. Them is plural. Yeah, it's actually very common with people who are transgender to use oh, they no them, way. and it really rankles my English major side. Not that I was an English major, but I could have been. I could have been a contender. Um, some <laughs> some trans people like to use um, Z as a non-gendered pronoun. Wait, um, wait, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. I met someone two weeks ago who uh, who introduced me to Zaya. I said, what's your name? He said, oh, you can call me Z-Strike. Uh-huh. And But what... he didn't mean it the, that way. I mean, like, his name is, like, he, he put his phone number in my phone as Z-Strike. Well, they sound like the coolest person in the world. Um, what gender did that person identify as, if any? Uh, I didn't, didn't seem to have a problem with us identifying with him as a, as a male. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know if that's like a thing that you bring up right away with people. It sometimes is. Um, a lot of times people will say when they're introducing themselves, especially in a space where you have the idea that this person could be non-binary, you'll, you know, introduce yourself and you'll say, my preferred pronouns are, and I would say, or female pronouns or she, her. Got it. Um, so this sucker takes a lot of power. And the last trip I took drained a lot of it because I got attacked a bunch of times by big scary sea creatures. Um, Man, this is cool. I wish that my car was like this. Yeah, th I will say that this is a cool submarine. Um, so I've been playing this game for a while, since before it was fully released. Um, and I'm still very scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> It still startles me every time something bites me, and I hate it. Um, I remember when Wait, the Cyclops... Wait, quick question. Hmm? Who is in your home base drinking from an almost empty cup of soda? Where? Through a straw. Oh, Go that... Oh, I'm sorry, that's the oxygen like filter. <laughs> it makes that noise. Because it's right about here on the roof. Oh, I see. You can't see it, but it's on. I can show you on the outside. Um, and it one takes one that noise one constantly, one and it's awful. It's this. Oh. Oh, I got a pipe. It leads up to the air. Oh. What? Okay. It's my chimney. Um. So, while we're waiting for some of those batteries to charge, I will give you a tour of the Cyclops, because we're going to be spending a lot of time there. Let's do it. This is my big submarine, so when I am embarking, this is the lower level. Um, these are storage lockers, and this is a fabricator. Um, it's for making clothes? It's for making... Very funny, because you're being very literal about fabric. Um, it's for making kind of everything. For example, I'm about to synthesize some bleach. Bleach is made with a salt deposit and a coral tube cutting, um, because it's the sodium and some hypochlorite. Um, and so I feed those into it and it makes this bottle of bleach. Bleach can be used to sanitize water. Oh, I heard that. That's true. You can so do that. So by using this bleach, I get two water bottles. So my character's kind of thirsty. Uh, this is my um, things about my character. Health, food, water, oxygen. Got it. Drink some water. I have drinking some water. 
I'm gonna put these salts. What is 135? Oxygen. I have an, uh, I'm in scuba gear. Uh, you can't really oh, tell. Oh, got it. Um, and I have a tank on my back, and it has maximum 135. Up above me here is my little bitty submarine. It's a single person Aww. submersible called the Sea Moth. Sea Moth. And I've colored it green because I wanted to. Um, this is for scooting around in tight spots where the big cyclops cannot go. Uh, as we come up here, got my ladders up to the first level. This whole shebang is my engine. When I t power oh. it up, you'll see this part spin. Looks like a missile silo. Like, you're gonna find some yeah, big if this squid was tilted. and shoot it. Yeah. Um, these are my power cells. Um, that's a place to make stuff. So this is part of the upper level. I have built a modification station. If I had a decoy, I could put it in here. Um, which I guess helps distract big things from... <laughs> Well, this is the first time I've noticed this coming through the floor. Good job. The game's still a little buggy. I <laughs> guess this is Don't part trip of on that. The That's sea dangerous. Yeah. This is part of the sea moth coming up through the floor. You can see it beneath us. And then if I open this hatch, I can hop down into it. Um, and then a battery charger. I could put other things here. I just don't have any. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So can you take batteries out of the engine, bring them over to the battery charger, and then put them back in the engine? Um, this is a power cell charger, and that is what I will do when we are out on the sea. But it's not terribly efficient, um, because it drains those batteries to fuel these batteries. It will sort of... Okay, got it. It's a smaller batteries. Yeah, those are for my handheld devices, which I think are all... This one's not very well charged. Oh, right, is that a flash camera? This is, um, you know those things that you can hold? They're like a, a, a pro like a handheld propeller. And it oh, the water scooters? Yeah, this is one of those. It happens to have a flashlight on it. Um, you have caused me to notice that um, this battery was not very well charged, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then this is the bridge. Uh, this will show me if my health is going down. Um, this is some light controls. This is if I want to change its color or whatever. And this is where I pilot it from. Um, let us go. And then I climb down this ladder. And it takes me right back to the, the disembarkation point back down here. Cool. Let's go check on my power cells. Because I would like to get the show on the road. We are on the lookout for some Welcome materials that were close. Um, I could use some more lithium and nickel. Um, and those are both found pretty darn deep. Um, and deep is where the scary things live. Which is why I want you here with me, because I'm a big old coward. Ah. Um. Oh, my filtration machine made me some more stuff. Nice. Um, I still need it to charge. Oh, I was filling up the cup of soda. Yeah, so the person can drink it through a straw. Yeah. Man, he finished it quickly. I should have done this uh, in preparation. Um, actually, I know a place where we can get some lithium while this is while this is doing some stuff. So let me drop these off here, and then um, I'll take the sea moth out and leave the um, the cyclops while those things are charging. I'm excited to see the sea moth. It's a lot of fun to scoot around in. Um, fire extinguishers. Where did I get those from? I don't recall doing that. Interesting. I'll go put those in storage, because we do not need them where we are going. Is there a lot of water where we're going? There is a lot of water where we're going. Um... Okay. 
let's go take the Seamoth for a spin. I wish my car had a smaller car inside of it. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay. Uh, I am at 91 health. Because I guess this was from the last thing I did. So I'm going to get out and weld that real quick. There we go. In we go. Uh, this way. Gun? Yeah, uh, you're allowed to drop beacons, and that's what I happen to name this one. Um, so the plot of this game is that your ship crashed, and that was a real bummer, and you have to survive. Um, pardon me, everyone. And you learn through the course of the game that there are sentient aliens, not here at the moment, um, who were using this planet to look for a cure for a bacterial disease. Um, and one of their samples, the, the life forms that they were testing it on, broke loose and spread the infection. And now this planet is under quarantine. Uh, the reason oh. your ship was shot down is your ship, other than going to space to build uh, a warp gate for better interplanetary travel, was supposed to swing by this planet and see if they could find out what happened to a previous ship that had been in the area. Both the previous ship and your ship were shot down by this enormous weapon for coming too close. And were, they were worried that you would break the quarantine. It was a um, an automatic response. Mm. So now you are stuck on this planet until you can until you by yourself can find a cure for this infection and prove to the computer controlling the gun that the infection is cured. <laughs> um, and then Wait, the but what? What so, if a third ship comes looking for the last two ships? Uh, that happened. Uh, and it was dramatic. Uh, somebody picked up uh, the big ship's um, distress signal and came to get me, and I watched it blow up in the sky. Oh, wow. What if a fourth ship comes to rescue the first three ships? Uh, if I don't, if I haven't solved it in time, the same thing will keep happening. That big structure you see up there unfolds. Half of it like folds out and turns into a great big old gun. And that is what happened. Oh wow. Um so this is the only island um real island that is accessible. I happen oh, to know wow. that this gives me food and liquid. So I'm gonna do it a bunch. Um Yum 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 yum. There is one more island. So this whole area is about two kilometers square. Um, and it is an ancient volcanic sort of crater. And there's walls on the other side where it drops off. And if you go outside those, uh, <laughs> you could see my shadow from my submarine. Yep. Um, I have a flash shadow around here somewhere. Um, then there are very, very large, very violent life forms out there. So I try and stay within the uh, the area because uh, you can't really do much fighting in this game, um, especially not of the great big things, the Leviathan class life forms. They um, they hurt a lot. When so I the first... idea is that they just keep you in this. Like, are you ever going to be able to go past that area, or no? They um. I read on the wiki um, that for if you are outside the quote unquote bounds of the game for 30 seconds, it will spawn a um, something called a ghost leviathan. It's not a real ghost, it just sort of looks like one. Um, and for every additional 30 seconds, it spawns another up to three. So even if you did manage to kill one, they will just keep making. What? 
I got caught I on nothing. Uh, they'll just <laughs> keep making them until you're dead. Got it. Um, I actually haven't been over here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing, but it's cool to look <gasps> at. <laughs> it does look like nothing. Yeah, that's the front of the ship. Or what's left of it. It's kind of open now. Wait, is that the moon moving? Yes, it is. There are two It is moving moons. very fast. It is moving very fast. And uh, it's also very close. It this is, is like Majora's Mask. It is very close. There's another one around here somewhere. <gasps> Um, there it is. Oh, cool. Those are both very close to each other. They are. Um, so this island often has lithium either here on the surface or on the rocks underneath it. Um, so we'll see if we can find some. Lithium. I barely know him. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my high school friend. There are a handful of other elements that poor joke also works with. Like barium. That and does not appear in this game. This looks if, like salt. Uh... It is salt. Ah, oh. I feel like. Oh, a sandstone. You should be able to get salt pretty easily. Sandstone. Did <laughs> you just bash it with your flashlight? Yeah, I did. Oh, a gel sack. Those are good too. These are not the things I came here for. Gel sack. I would expect a gel sack to be like a gross part of. Like some alien reproduction cycle. Uh, this I think is some sort of plant. You know, for you can like pick up and kill the small fish, and you can cook them and eat them, or cure them with salt. You don't get stuff for killing stuff. It's not like um. It's it's not like a lot of games where you have to kill something in order to get its resources. What about the satisfaction of having killed a small animal? Uh, those, they're good to eat. Oh, look mm. at these birds frozen in the air. They're not real birds. They're called sky rays. <laughs> Even the things not in the water are <laughs> water themed. Uh, the when I scanned them, the uh, scanner suggested that they are very distantly related to some of the other water animals. Uh, you look like a sandstone. Oh, shale, good. Lithium! Excellent. This is what we're here for. Wait, was there lithium inside that rock? Yes, it fell down Got and it. then I picked it up. In this area are sometimes, I believe they're called cave crawlers, and they look like four-legged crabs, and they bite. So if they come, I will get my repulsor gun. And it acts a little bit like the gravity gun from um, Half-Life. And you pull it towards you, and then you shoot it far away, or into a wall. And if you do it into the wall, hopefully they explode. I think I'm going to jump into that pool. Here I go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Good down here? Not really. The transition from water to ground is still a little sticky. You you get about you shouldn't be in here. It's it's That's still racist. a little buggy of um graphical glitches. How are you gonna get out of here? I'm pretty sure there's an opening. If not, I happen to know that this um, underwater cavern will let you out somewhere, but it's a it's a long swim, and uh, I'm not sure that my oxygen. Good. 
is up for it. Um, I do know that there are there's a coral that gives off oxygen bubbles. Um, but you're you, talking about a group of singers. Not this time. Okay. Lithium, great. I'm gonna eat some sushi. Right now? Yeah. Where'd you get sushi from? The refrigerator. When or... did you get it? Uh, just now. <laughs> when did you purchase it? <laughs> oh, earlier today. Was that answer more satisfying? It was. I wanted to know, I wanted to make sure you weren't about to give yourself food poisoning. Oh, okay. Okay, that seems like enough lithium. Um, let's... Where did I leave my tiny summer? There it is. Um, let's go back to check on... Welcome aboard, Captain. ...the battery charging. I like how it welcomes you as the captain, as though, like, there's anyone else for you to lead. Yeah, um... I'm pretty sure that was not my rank aboard the big ship. Um, <laughs> Boom! Good luck, promotion! Yeah. What's really sad is I would get um, radio transmissions from other life pods, from survivors, oh, yeah? and inevitably by the time I got there, there would be a big hole in the side from something chomping it open and everyone would have disappeared, and presumably to have been eaten by local wildlife. Why doesn't that happen to you? Um, I don't know, mine floated, and didn't float upside down, which happened to one person. A lot of it's just luck. I happened, and my life happened to land in a very safe place. Um, a lot of other life pods, um, like either their um, flotation device failed and they sank to the bottom where some nasty stuff was, um, or they landed in the territory of one of the um, scarier things that didn't take kindly to it. Like those things I just passed with the glowing butts, those are very peaceful. Um, so, what happened, I mean, that looks like a big ship. The what about all the other people? Um, presumably an, a whole, I think I just crashed into something. Uh, presumably a lot of them died when the gun shot them, and a lot more of them died mm -hmm. when it crashed onto this planet. As you can see, um, it hit something of a sandbar, mm. um, as a lot of it is outside of the water, so that must yeah. have been a pretty rough landing. Well, I mean, like, were there not enough, were there not enough escape pods? Um, Why? so far I've counted, I've seen numbers up to 17, but I don't think I've um, seen them all. Um, I don't we think I've seen from the 17 Titanic? escape pods, or I haven't gotten radios from 17 escape pods. Now we're gonna go do the scary thing, if that's ready. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um. I found a way into some underwater caves that allow me to take the Cyclops, which is good, because it's nice and big. Um, I did not press the right button. Um, but the entrance to that part is pretty heavily guarded. I am gonna need to make some shelves, because this is ridiculous. I have filled up all of these lockers. Um, is there an Ikea on this planet? I have a furniture builder. 
I just need some quartz, which I could have sworn that I had. There it is. Maybe I need two quartz. How many quartz do I need? I need two quartz. Quartzes. Let's go see if we can find some. Caves are things called crash fish. Crash fish? Crash fish have developed the world's stupidest defense mechanism. There's a quartz. And that defense mechanism is they charge you, get really close, and then explode. And die. Um, I don't know why they've chosen this. But they do. And it's kind of like, um, kind of like how a bee stings you and then dies. Except, yes, that except is not, it I've recently learned that that is not true of all species. Yes. Um, this is my furniture builder. Oh, like I a, didn't like eat glass, I just needed the quartz? Oh, that's terrible news. I thought I needed to make glass to make the glass front of it, but I didn't. All I needed was raw quartz. So we have to go find some more. I fucked up. Anyway, I'm, we'll be on the lookout for crash fish. The good thing about crash fish is they signal that you've made them mad by making uh, a sound. A mad sound. Uh, you'll probably hear it. Hey, fuck you! They kind of go, and then blow up. <laughs> no, there didn't seem I, to be I imagine them there. as like a, like a, a person with road, a person with road rage. Mm -hmm. uh, there are slightly dangerous fish around here, called stalkers. They're pretty big, very sharp teeth. Uh, that's what that roaring sound was. Quartz? Please? Doesn't seem to be any of that. It's funny, where we're going is gonna be just stupid with quartz. Um, but not a ton right here. That is the stalker, that big fish over there. Let me get some oxygen. Ah, that is the beginnings of my escape rocket. I've got the engines, and that's about it. Oh wait, so there's like an end of the game? There is! Uh, there didn't used to be, but there is now. Are you quartz? Yeah! Um, if I cure the disease, which I happen to know how to do, it's just difficult. Um, well, I know how to do it because I've played the game before. My character doesn't know how to do it yet. Um, and collect all the stuff I need for the rocket, I can leave. Simple as Wait. that. If you launch the rocket before having cured the disease, will it shoot you? I suppose it probably would. Oh, those really are the shelves. Cool, huh? Much nicer than IKEA. Indeed. Much more modern. Um, uh, awesome. Let's go get some last minute food. We'll say goodbye to friend. Friend can follow you around, um, but I scared myself once by accidentally telling friend to stay when I didn't think I did. 
and I thought I had taken them to a dangerous place and that I had killed them. Did you just do a magic trick? I did. Wait, do it again. I don't know if it'll do it immediately, but yeah, I just did a little sleight of hand for friend. Come here, buddy. Wait a minute. That's not how you do that trick. I learned that trick. Listen. We work with what we have. And we are under some uh, limited circumstances here. Did you name friend? I did name friend. I named them friend. Got it. But you can name it whatever. Or like, does it actually? You know, I don't know name? if it lets you name it. Um, I know its its species is dubbed cuddle cuddlefish, like a fish you can cuddle, cuddle instead of cuddle. With a D instead of a T. Got it. Okay. Question. Answer. Why is there a pool of water inside your base? That is a moon pool. And I can dock my submarine here. Oh. Those little arms fold down. And I can keep my little sub here. Um, if I ever build a an exosuit, um, I can Wait. also... It's an exosuit like a... Like a mech. Nice. Uh, we could make that one of our goals. I think I still need to go find um, Nickel, though. Where's the blueprint for the exosuit? No, I passed it. Um, maybe I don't. I do need... Stalker tooth. Yeah, okay. I think we might be able to do this here. Uh, do you want to build the exosuit, or do you want to go to the scary place? Oh, I want to go to the scary place. Okay, let's go to the scary place. We'll do the exosuit some other time. Um, okay, let's go put some more batteries in this sucker. It will probably run better with all its batteries. couple more that we can charge. I've yeah. stopped buying batteries now. I have a, like a bunch of rechargeable ones. Oh yeah. Oh, and now that's it's the nighttime. end of that story. Oh, I hate it when it's nighttime. Engine powering up. So I remember when they first introduced the Cyclops, I hit slow. and it was impervious. You couldn't, it, it didn't get hurt, and you were completely safe in it. Um, that sounds those, great. Those were good days. Um, because now, it's got health. And if enough stuff bites you, you die. Well, it explodes, and then... You're vulnerable, and then you die. And, in an update that ruined my life forever, they introduced noise. So this is my health bar, and this is the amount of noise I'm making. And, and what causes you to make more noise? Speed. Swimming on broken glass shelves. Yeah, uh, if you go fast, you know what I mean. um, if you run into stuff, if you honk the horn, no reason for it to have a horn, but I do. Um. Yeah. So now. So you can honk a crash fish. Or what? But so you can honk a crash fish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. So they won't crash into me. Um, the one thing I'm really irritated about in the Cyclops is that it has a front light and it's useless because this is what it does. 
It just makes it harder to see, so I almost never use it. So we are aiming for this beacon here, Lost River North, because um, that is the way to I can get into the Lost River area, which is um, a long tunnel series of caves. What is going on? What? Oh, I can just keep it on clunking. Well, the groaning noise is something called a reef back, and it's the equivalent of a whale. It's very big and peaceful, but it startles me every time I see it. Because they're big. Oh, I wish we had waited for daytime. Um, this also comes equipped with a proximity monitor, which will uh, come up on the front when like, it looks like I'm going to run into something. It's kind of like one of those um, backup cameras that beeps at you before they had the cameras. See, I'm going to get mm. close to this and you'll see. So it is currently signaling that I'm too close to something on the underneath and now on the front. And it's and right. if you actually hit something, then what? Uh, it makes a clunky sound. And if I think if I hit it really hard, it will damage me. Um, oh. But as long as I'm not going too, too fast... Oh, I think I just killed a fish there. <laughs> Did you just hit a fish? Yeah. They uh, bleed yellow and they'll explode if you hit them. So you'll hear a lot of clunking without it actually... Um... See, I'm... Everything's fine. Just clunking. And that's fish. Every time there's a clunk, it's you hitting a fish. Not every time. I'm sure some of it's rocks. Can you, like, collect the fish bodies and I guess if I wanted them? to. Okay, so, uh, the way I actually pref almost prefer to steer sometimes is using one of the cameras. Oh, you see that shadow over there? The little green no. bits? That's a reef back. It's far away, but I'll show it to you. They're super neat. Oh, here's a closer one. I still don't see it. Oh. They're big and flat, and they've got the three trailing tentacles. And they've got these hey, bulbs. Buddy. The cool thing about reefbacks is that they grow coral on their back. Oh. And sometimes you can harvest some of the more useful coral from them. It's pretty neat. In an early concept art of the game, they um, showed they wanted to let you build a base on their back, uh, but that never got initialized. Whoa! This is not where I want to go. Here. You should get like a bunch of a bunch of lithium and just put it on their backs, and then they'll be like uh, that character from Moana. Oh, uh, you know. Oh, the crab! Shiny. Yeah. I could put gold on it. Gold is in this yeah. game. Um, okay. So this is one of the uh, camera views I can have from underneath the sub, which I actually really like, because you can see what's underneath you. And I do a lot of my piloting from here. Um, so this is probably where it's going to first start to get scary. Uh, because guarding the approach to this is a ghost leviathan. That's my friend Alpha. Uh, I think he knows that I am not monitoring my Twitch chat at all. Alpha oh, are... is the one who uh, got me into streaming in the first place. Got it. Um, yeah, so this is where the scary stuff is. Um, those shiny things down there are fine. Those are called jelly rays, I think. They are totally cool. Don't worry about it. Question. Answer? Uh, is a 
ghost leviathan higher or lower on the Scoville level than a habanero uh, leviathan? Uh, they do have reaper leviathans. Like California reapers. Uh, you know, I didn't think about that. I don't even know if they know they're doing that. Uh, those are bone sharks. Those are not great. Um, but I dealt with worse. They look kind of funny. And this is the approach. Oh no, I gotta turn around. Now I just remembered. I think. Maybe not. Oh, thank you for going scary, music. I super appreciate that. Oh, that was... <laughs> I thought that was like you hitting something. No. No, it knows. Oh, there's that soda drinker again. Yeah, I think that is part of the music track, to be honest. You're not doing this turning? Um, I'm doing some of it. Where the fuck did the beacon go? Lost River. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Keep turning and down. Gotta go down. So you just run. Um, that's an amp eel. But honestly, the ghost leviathan is way worse. Yep, thanks, got it. Everything's everything's fine. How did I get in here before? I don't remember it being this tight. Is there an easier like I really don't remember it being this difficult to get into. I think the ghost leviathan has left us alone. Now I think it's just the ampule. And honestly, that's okay. And it doesn't look like there's any permanent damage. Alright, that could have been worse. That could have been way worse. Yeah, yeah, bumping into stuff, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Everything hurts. Keep going down. Ooh. Looks like there. Jack planted his beanstalk here. Those are called blood kelp. Okay. I happen to know <laughs> that in here is a second ghost leviathan. There's, there's just always another one in here? Yeah, I know that he lives in here. Um, well, that's rude of you. He lives in here. Um, those are ghost rays. They're fine. Those are bone eels. They're a little less fine. And if you look really hard, you can see the ghost leviathan in the distance over there. Um, they get the ghost leviathan gets less mad if I stick to the left wall. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. And what's the goal here? What are we looking for? Um, I need to get past these guys, but we are looking for nickel ore. Nickel ore. Um, it's a little gray rock that lives on walls. And, um... Not to be confused with other gray rocks that live on walls. This one is specific. Um... A little bit caught on one of these trees. I can recognize it when I see it. 
For example, that's not it. <laughs> Excellent example. Yeah, so this is actually way smoother than the last time I went into this cave. Uh, cause I got both of those ghost leviathans to bite the shit out of me the last time. And you seem to be is... doing fine. Yeah, this is much more peaceful. <laughs> and so uh, you don't have any, like, defense. You just kinda... Not really. Um, I could... I think there are some modules that you can find the blueprints for. I think there's one to um, make like a like an electric defense. Like so, you'll get bit once, but then it won't want to bite you anymore. Mm. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. First of what? all, there's the Glyph Leviathan. I just remembered seeing... So I looked up a map of this game, because I kind of cheat a lot, because I'm super scared all the time. All the time. <laughs> um, and there is... a... thing of interest that I wanted to see if I could find. So let me park the big sub somewhere relatively safe. Wait, if you don't park it in a safe place, will it, like, will someone slash the tires? Um, I'm worried that the Ghost Leviathan will chomp on it. So let's put By it By the here. way, you look much bigger than the Ghost Leviathan. Um, I am a little bit bigger than it. I am not much bigger than it. I'm definitely wider, but it's definitely longer. Okay. That's fair. Um. Let's do some battery replacing. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna go see if I can find that thing that I thought I saw on the map. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. All systems online. So now I'm definitely not bigger than it. <laughs> but this guy is equipped with sonar. Oh, cool. And I do have a couple gas torpedoes. And the gas torpedoes don't usually kill things, but it often makes them go the away. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, I don't like this. But I'm told, I think I heard that it's along this wall. to this one? I have. I think. So this is alien technology. Cool. Uh, behind this little underwater waterfall. And now I'm on dry land. Oh, look at that. I think I've been to this one. Yeah, I have. Okay, so in if I followed this, there is um, a warp arch that I have not turned on from the other side. Um, if I had, I'd be able to warp through it, um, but my Seamoth would be out here. Mm. Um, I... Oh, okay. I think I understand what I saw on the map now. Okay, let's go back to the sub. Um, 
not, this is not one of the rocks I'm looking for. Oh boy. He is. What happened? Did he just like give up? No, I'm he's pretty sure he's like you. right on my tail. Oh, okay. I'm afraid to turn around because I did that once and he was right behind me. So I frank try not to turn around. I find it less scary if I can't see it coming. I like all the glowy stuff down here. I turned around, what's wrong with you? I was pretty sure that he, he got bored. Well, while I'm in this chamber, I'm gonna look for those rocks. Um, here's how I can tell that it's that kind of rock is it's got sort of like two lumps on it and it always kind of makes me think of testicles. This is not one. Got it. Well, I can help you look for testicles. I bet you can. <laughs> Kirk Landsman, the gayest straight man I know. Oh, is that a, is that a, one of those, this wait, no, what is, is that? I think they call it a blood crawler. It's the deep sea version of a cave crawler. Cave crawlers are yellow and they have shorter legs. But I bet these would fuck me up real bad if I wasn't in that sub. I like how they just kind of throw themselves at the, at the sub. Yeah. Now here's all the quartz that I didn't have before. Oh, that might be lithium. That's actually super useful. Yeah, back in the sub. It never feels good to get out of the sub. It always scares me every time. Oh, that's like another lithium. And I actually have pl well, plenty is a strong word. I will pick up a couple of these while I'm down here. They are used in construction. Ooh. If you ever find another person down here, you can make jewelry for them. It's true. There's also diamonds. Okay, this is... Well, this is the safer of the two walls of this chamber. This is the Ghost Leviathan's hangout. But I don't... See any... We may have to go deeper into the, the caves. I am told that nickel is often found in um, some larger deposits, but you need the exosuit. It's got a drill on it. Um, get this back up in here. There we go. Um, you need the exosuit to drill them out. Oh, I am hungry and thirsty. Well, I thought I had a nutrient bar left. I at least got this. Um, Next time I see a small fish, I will get out and, um... <laughs> I have an upgrade for my survival knife called the Thermoblade. And when you strike a fish with it, it instantly cooks them. <laughs> oh, you can get one of those at Brookstone. Yeah, right? Got my one for my father for Father's Day. He, uh, he seemed appreciative, but I don't think he actually uses it. No, they never do. Uh... Oh, fish. Oh, we are pointed a little bit downwards, so the whole sub is pointing down. Oh, that's cool. I could be because I've wedged it. No, it's just frozen slightly downwards. Spinefish? It's just what it's called. Another uh, hand waving is that I can eat this underwater.
<laughs> yep, makes a ton of sense. Okay. Really do need nickel. is a relatively safe spot. So we can scoot around the walls here and see if we can find anything. I'm so impressed that you know your way around these caverns. Uh, I have played the game before. I've gone the wrong way. Uh, and I spent a lot of time looking at that map. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my maximum depth is on the Seamoth is only 900. Oh, uh, so online. I have to be careful. This is not one. What is that on? This place is lousy with quartz. Right? Some of them are diamonds. Um. This is quartz. The diamonds have a little bit more rock on them. But yeah, look at it all. Quartz, quartz. Oh, I thought the little spiky balls were quartz. These oh, are there's like anemones. Oh, Got it. Uh, these guys? The the thing just to the, the, the group of things, those things, yeah. Oh, I think that's just scenery. It's like a piece of coral or something. Put it this way, it's so scenery that they didn't even bother to like give it a name. Could it be? It's like me in middle school. I don't think so, but maybe. No. No. Limestone, when you break it, does not have nickel inside. underwater vents, and if I get out of the sub here, it does hurt a little. But Ruby does congregate near vents. This is a fossilized skeleton. Whoa. Of what? Um, I think it's a... Ah! What the fuck? I didn't know you were here! I'm gonna shoot it. Get out of here, my poison gas. Shoot. Wait. Gas? I'm confused. Yeah. I guess it's not really a gas. It's a poison something. Oh, okay. Um, you remember those peaceful things with the glowing butts? Yeah. They um, squirt that at you if you bother them. And. Um, you can collect it before it explodes and poisons you, and you can use it to synthesize a poison gas torpedo. Ah. Quartz. And you haven't found any nickel. I haven't. Um. This is an underwater alien structure. Um, oh, look at that. According to the lore of the game, don't come any closer. If you're coming closer, I will have warned you. Wanna be gassed? I'll do it. Um, this was where they were doing a lot of their studying, and um, they had the eggs of, and like the young of one of those. Okay. And it came to rescue them and just fucked the place apart. Ah. And, uh, that's how it got like that. I believe it's, a uh, what the game then calls a sea dragon leviathan. 
No, you look like limestone. God damn. Did I- I can't have picked the place over. There's gotta be more. Oh, more doesn't spawn? Is this- do you get what you get and that's it? I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, as you can see, this is all kind of in pieces. But I've already explored all of that. And I got all the data and stuff out of it. Okay, I'm gonna hide in this corner and weld my ship a little, because if you see in the bottom left, it's 85 wrenches or whatever. There we go. All better. Welcome aboard, Captain. Even as are these so these are large resource deposits, the ones I'll need the um suit for. That's titanium. And I, I believe I've been told that um there's a lot of nickel ones. Are you guys? No, you kind of look like limestone. This is not making for good content. Oh man, I am so thirsty for nickel. I want to see nickel. Here's a question for you. Oh wait, what just screamed? That would, I think, be a warper. <laughs> wait, did it, like a fish accidentally walk into a warp? <laughs> or I guess no, fish don't a walk. warper is like um, a specific kind of life. What are you? Maybe shale? Ah, uh, shale is good. Still not nickel, but it's fun. Um, they are, like, programmed life forms that the um, precursor aliens used as, like, guardians, and they often guard alien structures. Uh, and they can warp me right the fuck out of my little submarine and, like, several feet away. And then I have That's to, super annoying. I have to reorient myself and swim back to it. Um, yeah, no, it's it's really startling. Uh, thankfully, these ghost rays are completely peaceful. Um, yeah, no, warpers are very startling. I think we've gotten so far away from the Cyclops submarine that we rent out the wrong exit of that cavern. I gotta go find it. Yeah. Oh crap, where did I park? Thankfully it's got a, a navigational beacon. It's this I one. Park. Oh, okay. <gasps> Is it you? Mm, no, I don't think so. It's worth checking. No. <sighs> Faked me out. Although I gotta be careful. If we go too far away, there is a place that has an enemy that I am really not a fan of. And those are called crab squids, and they make a truly hateful sound effect. Um which is even scarier than them by themselves. Them by themselves? What do you mean? Just like the idea of crab squids is pretty scary. And then they make oh. this really scary noise. And they move very fast. And they're pretty big. Does it have an exoskeleton or tentacles? Um, or both? It's more crab than squid. Mm. But it's got a big, bulbous head. Um, which is where I guess they get the squid. It kind of looks like a light bulb, to be honest. No. 
And the sickle better be worth it. Uh, when did you get here? Oh, that might be the juvenile. Does that look any smaller to you? Uh, I don't know. There could just be more of them in here. Either of you? No, not really. Okay, I'd rather not get any closer to that. I am pretty close to just looking up where Nickel is found. Like, whether I have to go deeper to find more of it. This is getting absurd. Yeah. Maybe you should ask the Leviathan. Yeah, right? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I hate to bother you. I really hate it. Let me tell you how much I hate bothering you. Nope. Cool, just phase right through the wall. See that guy with the tentacles up there? Oh, look That's at that. That's a warper. Let's see if I can watch him long enough for him to do a warp. I'd rather not. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Out of ideas. Maybe it's in the the next place down. So there's a biome even below this, even though we are 730 meters underwater. Um, 730 meters. It's still less than a mile, right? I believe so, because a kilometer is less than a mile. Yeah, it's like. like 1.8 kilometers to a mile or something, right? Uh... I don't know. Because I think a 5k is like... Whoop. A little over three miles. Get well soon. What is he doing? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I did that. Maybe not. Game still has some graphical glitches. I wish that you could change the voice for your submarine. If I could change the voice for my submarine, I'd pick Sean Connery. <laughs> okay. Um, from here. Oh, thank you, Alpha. Um, oh. Oh, I see. I was doing it backwards. I forgot that Alpha's watching us. Hi, Alpha! Alpha, this is Kirk. Uh, from here. So, on the topic of nickel, how much... I, I, I'm gonna, I have a confession. But I don't understand why it's a confession. Uh, I like nickel back. And a lot of people seem to think that that's horrible. Like, they hate me for that. They, uh, it's, like... it's trendy to hate on Nickelback. Why? Uh, it, it became a joke. Um... Hey. 
Uh, my complaint with Nickelback, and I think the reason a lot of people latch on to not liking it, is, um, it's very overproduced. Rock is supposed to be a little bit dirty around the edges, and they forgot to do that with Nickelback. They cleaned everything up a little too well. And, um, it, it just, I don't, it strikes people as wrong. Hmm. Um, this is a relatively safe place to explore, but it's a little too deep for my CMOT, so I'm gonna have to do this one by myself. Um, so we're gonna use the glider. We're just gonna buzz around out here. I can't get too far away from the Cyclops because I will need to get back on it to breathe every once in a while. <laughs> <gasps> yeah! Oh man! See how it's a little bit testicular? Oh, Upside I see down? that. Yep, I know I see it. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, Frab just day. Oh man! Excellent. This cave is just filled with testicles. How is there mist inside this water? Um, do you know about underwater rivers and lakes? No. Um, I mean, I. In certain oceans, there are patches of uh, more extreme salinity, usually given off by like a nearby deep sea vent. Um, and it no looks way. a little bit different than the surrounding water, and it sinks. Um, or maybe it doesn't, maybe everything else sinks. Uh, anyway, because there's a difference in density, right. um, you can look these up. They're really neat looking. Um, and it will, and they'll even have um, waves of their own. So they look like underwater beaches. Look up a video or gif of it, it's really quite cool. All right, I, I'll look it up. I'm not gonna look it up now. Let's see if I can find any more. That's those little donut plants. Those are deep mushrooms. They are also useful for certain things. Um, they apparently are in this world are very acidic, and you can use them to make um, certain like battery things. They're also good for distracting policemen and impressing your co-workers. Like donuts? Yeah. Man, there's a lot of those rays. Yeah, apparently, uh, according to the scanner, that they, they eat some of the stuff on this tree. Oh. And apparently, uh, and this is new with the more recent part of the game, um, those circles are ghost leviathan eggs. What circles? The big sort of bulbs in the middle of the tree. Oh. Um, you should, uh, I don't know. You should, you should raise a ghost leviathan. What is happening to you? I think I'm burning. But I want that nickel. You're burning? Uh, oh, that's a vent. Oh. It's got uh, hot water. Um, you can raise eggs. Um, that's how no you way! Them. Yeah, uh, and if you raise one of the predators, they're apparently nicer to you. Um, 30 seconds. Yes, yes. I don't think I can raise any of the Leviathan class life forms. Uh, I don't, I don't know. If they count reefbacks as Leviathans, you can find reefback eggs. Uh, 
Oh, you see how this one has green spots? And yeah. it's also glitching through the wall. <laughs> well, if it wasn't glitching, and there it goes. You'd see that it had green spots, and that yep. means that it's sick with the bacteria. My character is sick with it too, actually, if I do a self scan. There it one. Nice. I'm gonna name this one. Oh, I see. Come on. Wow, you really have to give those a wide berth, huh? You don't have to be that careful in the submarines. I guess that's why I'm a little lazy about it. Alright. This was a I'm gonna pretty name that harvest. Ray Charles. <laughs> Which one? Uh, oh, there he is. There's the sick one. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. He's blind. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another sick one. Yeah. But you don't have green globs on you, do you? You okay, bro? You just see him, like, <laughs> whoosh He's, like, into swimming frame. backwards. Um, I, I am wearing clothes at all times. So this is the scanner, and if I press F, I can do a self-scan. Infected. I do, I do have it. Okay. And what are the symptoms? Um... Flu-like symptoms, skin irritation. Um, bright green blisters. Um, you just, it doesn't feel good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay yeah. Uh, we, he likes to stream, um, old MS-DOS or other old PC games, and there was one that was a, um, oh, excuse me, like a doctor sim simulator, which was surprisingly, um, robust and realistic, and, uh, Alpha explained, you know, he'd played the game a bunch before and explained, like, you know, this patient, you can examine them, and they're presenting with, um, uh, abdominal pain all around, and, you know, they didn't show signs of infection which means that they just probably have gas pains and the right thing to do is just to observe them until they feel better it's time to operate <laughs> um wait how do you know how to play the game if you're not an actual doctor well the, so here's the crazy thing about this game is it will tell you how to play it'll teach you some things but it won't teach them to you until you've done something wrong um <laughs> so first you just kill a guy just you just murder him in the operating room and then it tells you all of the steps you skipped um so it kind of guarantees that you have to you, you gotta get one of them um and alpha was playing it as wrongly as possible for the entertainment value and he just murdered some dudes um max uh max and i played the sims and he really wanted to huh uh, Max and I played The Sims, and he really wanted a graveyard. And the only way to get gravestones is for Sims to have died. So. Which Sims was this? The original one. Oh. So he'd move in. He'd move in like families of four, or whatever the maximum family size was, and uh, like you know, light a light a fire over the carpet. Jesus. You know, in the fireplace and kill them and then start again that's fucked up at least in the in sims 3 there was a, a cemetery lot that your sims could get a part-time job at oh no way hey buddy <laughs> he's practicing for the circus uh, okay 
Um, so I'm a, I'm going to a scarier place than this. I'm going to go to the even deeper biome. Uh, I guess because I'm a masochist. That's uh, the scientific term. Um, and because the stream is funnier when I'm afraid. That makes sense to me. Let's do it. Tired of these rays. Uh, First, I thought there were. Now there's too many of them. Yeah. It's weird, I can see their insides. You think it's easier. You think if they were sentient, it would be like easier to diagnose problems? Probably. Ooh, so What is this thing? What are you what are you about to swim through? A waterfall. Who was that? Um, is that lava? Yeah, is, this is, is the inactive lava zone. Looks active to me. Uh no, the active lava zone's a lot more active. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am afraid to get out of the sub in this place because I don't remember how hot the water is. to the active lava zone, I happen to know that there's a very, very scary thing there. <laughs> and that is called a sea dragon leviathan. Ooh. And it eats subs like me for breakfast, and also spits fiery rocks. Unfortunately, that's where a lot of important endgame things are. Okay. Sh sure would like to have sonar in this thing, but I haven't discovered how to build that yet. What is that? Uh, that looks like a baby sea dragon, Leviathan. Oh, the rays here are opaque. Yeah, these are called crimson rays. Um, and I am now very afraid to go into the center of the room. Because I am relatively sure that's where the big scary thing is. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save this <laughs> game right here, and I am just gonna, just gonna be very scared for you. So that's what entertainment looks like. I think it's here. All right. Out of volcano. 
not to erupt. So you just lit up. Yeah, I think that's draw distance. Yeah, you hear that roaring sound? It's very faint. For now. I just hear a constant banging. Yeah, I don't exactly know what that is. I like to imagine that it's you hitting those rays. <laughs> like one of those ways is like cartwheels into the engine. <laughs> like Sully. Wait, did you name it what? What do you mean like Sully? Like Captain Sullenberger with the geese. Oh. Got it. That's the sea dragon? Yeah. Oh, cool. You may take this time to notice that my health has gone down a little and I've sprung a leak. Oh, wow. Oh, what do you do now? Um, die? Well, if I die hadn't get... saved, I would be screaming and running. So you can just save whenever you want to? Yeah. Oh, well that makes uh Oh he looks so cool. Oh and now some things are on fire. This is the fire icon. Wait, icons. wait. Where did this techno come from? Uh that's the you're on fire song. <laughs> Shorty fire on the dance floor. Oh, he just gets bored and leaves? Oh, I'm sure it'll come back. Okay, I'm gonna load my save. Uh... So I have shown you... the scary part. Um, let's go back up to the surface and build my exosuit. Wait, what? Oh, you mean like, okay, I thought you meant you were loading from a place. Oh, I don't think so. I think I loaded just inside that chamber. We'll turn around and go home. Get past the two ghost leviathans. Emergency power only. Yes, yes. Oxygen production. It does the same thing Both with fire. the um, Cyclops. That it loads. Um, that I have built one before it loads and it has power. How do you know how the hell to get out of here? Um, thankfully there's only really one way in and out of most places. Uh, yeah, okay. How do well, you know okay, you're going in the gate, out? A lot of this is one way. It, it looks like... Okay. And again, I played this game you. a bunch. Um, I... Went to the place... No, yeah, I think I did everything except for... A lot of those bangs are me hitting fish. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's shocking how much noise that makes. Um, I think I may have cured the disease in my playthrough. Um, but this was before they put in the escape ship. Oh. Um, but when the game released for real, um, I started a new game in honor of that. 
they did a lot of really good work on this. Um, when I watched, you know, I got to watch them put um, each new thing in the game. It got better and better. It, it, this is an early access success story, and a lot of them tend to be sob stories. There's a, yeah, I agree. There are a lot of early access games that just go nowhere. Yeah. And I, I got burned a couple of times by early access games, so I generally don't partake. Yeah. Um, ah, good, there's my waterfall out of here. And as you notice, they get, start get seeing ghost rays again. <laughs> hey, that's Charles. <laughs> or maybe that's Ban. Ray Ban? Correct. We'll surface up here. That one's Ionicone. I keep forgetting his name is Ray. <laughs> I've interacted with him almost never. You have to remember that he was not my Boy Scout leader. He was my surrogate father. I bet. Seems like a good guy. Yeah. Back to the giant tree. Ah, the Leviathan egg tree. Hmm. That's where I'd put my eggs if I didn't have a refrigerator. In a tree? Uh, yeah. Big glowy tree surrounded by rays. Um, while I'm in a safe spot, I'm gonna do a quick sweep of the ship for lava larva. Lava larva? Yeah, they um suck your power. They were they were swimming around um in the lava zones, and they they attached to your ship and they suck it. So I'm just gonna make sure we don't have any. shocking that we avoided them, because there was like a thousand of them down there. Huh, looks good. Oh good, you don't have to watch me knife an innocent creature to death. What do you mean, it was sucking your power? Or it would have yeah, been. Yeah, but like, a lot of parasites aren't delicious. the nicest part of the uh, <laughs> uh, the nicest Aww. part of the uh, Lost River area. It's pretty and everything here is peaceful. I like how there are names for all of these places and how you probably made them. I didn't. Um, they are named by the developers and if I hit F1 you would see a lot of like under the hood information like what coordinates I am on on the map and um what sure, but I... oh sorry go ahead like what biome I'm in so the developers named the biomes what I meant was that your character named them it's oh, not yeah. like they had names. It's not like there's a street sign that says, like, you're in the Lost River. Population, a bunch of um, fish. The, the people I was, my ship was swinging by to look for, um, I think said a little bit about them. 
Ugh, that is never a graceful ascent, because it's a little narrow to incorporate the sky claps in it. Alright, let's see if we can go two for two in this part with the ghost leviathan. Um, actually, you know what I could do? Rig for Cylon, Ronnie. I make even less noise now, but it does use up power, but we have a ton of power. I do make less noise if I'm not running into things. <coughs> I said not running into things, she said getting caught on a tree. Please? There we go. This is all fine. Everything's fine. Please ignore the constant proximity alarms. <laughs> well, that really does suck power. Yeah, I'm shocked by how much my power wasn't draining before. Um, and I realized it's because um, I had been charging batteries. <laughs> um, uh, I think I can make it through here. Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is this a way out? Well, there's that, like, like blood kelp thing that I remember seeing. Yeah, those are the blood roots. This is the blood kelp. They are, in fact, the same species. Ah, oh, I see. They just send their roots. Not to be confused with the crypt kelp. kelp. Oh, I just got that. I think we're out. I think it's nighttime. Uh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Ambiel, okay. This is a creature proximity thinger. If you're if they're yellow, you're kind of okay. Oh, a floater. See that big purple thing? Yeah. Um, that is a giant version of a little pinkish purple thing that attaches to rocks or other things and makes them float. So there's an island that has a bunch of enormous ones underneath it that has propelled it to the surface for like hundreds of years or probably thousands. Um, and it makes an island. Oh, gross, Alpha. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna make it to the surface. Looks like it's nighttime up there. Only 70 meters. And nothing has come to kill us. We made it! Yeah. Well, I didn't even see a ghost leviathan. I think I went out a different exit. Here we are. There's the moon. There's the aurora. Uh, the ship that we were on was called the aurora. So Why do you pronounce it like that? I pronounce aurora? it like that so it doesn't sound like just nonsense. Aurora? Aurora? Aurora. So I aurora was is a normal to... word. It is, but it's hard to, to convey, and I wanted to use as proper diction as I could. Aurora. Sounds like you're you're speaking to someone who doesn't speak English, and so you're trying to just, like, say normal words, but really painfully enunciated. Well, keep in mind that this is going out to Twitch and then YouTube, so I can't guarantee that they do speak English. Great. I will start enunciating very clearly. No, no, no. You just have to do it with words that just sound like nonsense syllables, like Aurora. Aurora. It sounds like you're getting into a fight with a dog. <laughs> right? I've played. I've play fought with dogs like that before. Yeah. 
Where's my dog? Where is your dog? Probably asleep. Ooh, speaking of sleep, it's almost 11 here. So I'll uh, bring my submarine back the to base. Um, and it shouldn't take much for me to build the um, mech suit. So I'll build that, and then I'll call it a cool. night. <laughs> Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Yeah. That's a real nerdy way of saying that. Seek calorie intake immediately. I didn't mean to hit that button. Uh, it's low. What is beneath us? Are there any fish down here? I have to stop hitting these buttons. Yeah, there's a fish. Oh, hey, reefbacks. Usually, if there are reefbacks, it's relatively safe. <laughs> Until you came along, and now you're coming around killing all the fish. That's true. because there's a fish here that will bite me. Okay, let me go back to base. Excellent. Almost there. The head standard. How do you charge your batteries? Um, well, there's the battery charger here in the ship, but again, it drains the other batteries, so it's sort of a holding action. And then in my base, I have a power charger, and I have some external, like a solar panel and a thermal charger. Nice. Which is why we were waiting for them over there, because I didn't want to play the endless cycle just yet. What is that XM radio icon? Oh, this? Yeah. It's one of my other beacons for navigation. Ah, this is so the floating the island. Ar -ar -ar -ron 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 -ron. Yeah. Um, the floating island is over there. It's kind of on the opposite side as the gun island. Uh. Burp. Gun Island. Uh, remember where we went for the lithium the first time? We've got to get these islands out of our schools. Oh boy. Cells. Batteries are the little ones. Power cells are these big honking ones. Take this one. Oh, I even still have some hundred charged ones. That's really nice. Oh, great. So 
So, um, let's go get some food and water no. from the base. And we will peruse the blueprints for how to make our exosuit. There is friend. I can climb up through here, actually. Welcome aboard, Captain. steel ingots, two air jumps, enamel glass, two diamonds, two lead. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have one plasteel ingot. Um, plasteel ingots need a bunch of titanium and some lithium. So let's go find some scrap metal. Unfortunately, none of this counts. <laughs> Has to be specific scrap metal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really don't like that little map that this thing offers. So I can't... I have a lot of trouble reading it. Um, there's one. tricky part is going to be finding a stalker tooth. Uh, if you scan a fragment of something that you already know how to make, you will just get some titanium for it, which is nice. Mm. Um, so those stalkers sometimes shed their teeth. Um, but you can't get it directly from the stalker, you just sort of have to find it. And for reasons I can't completely understand, you use it to make enameled glass. So I just sort of have to stumble upon one. I'm gonna get some oxygen. hang out in these kelp forests. So I usually search the borders of those. That's oh, a creature egg. I don't know, I've already hatched all the creatures I want. All I wanted was the cuttlefish. No. In fact, I have other eggs in case I want more than one. more metal salvage. Good on that. Maybe I'll search a different uh, kelp forest area. Well, let me make the other plastic ingot here. Welcome up board, Captain. Um, All systems online. And lithium. So break down that salvage. Break down that salvage. Now I can make a titanium ingot, which is condensed titanium. And by combining it with the lithium, I can make the fictional material plasteel. Oh wow! And you have all the stuff memorized. Uh yes. And I've got another one of these around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Um, I really need that stalker tooth. Oh wait, no, I wanted to put a new battery in my sea glide. It was getting pretty low. I don't want it to die on me. 
while I'm using it and running from a stalker. Because they fight pretty hard. Um, if I didn't have that stuff memorized, all of the game's blueprints um, are available in my little PDA. Well, there's a stalker. Does he have a tooth? There's a stalker. This is so hit or miss. This is probably my least favorite material to have to find. Because it's really random. Stalkers like to chew on metal. And they like to- they're very territorial about their uh, metal salvage that they- that they find. Um, don't know why a tooth allows you to enamel glass. Tooth enamel, I don't think it's real enamel. Oh, I see. That can't be their only reason for doing that, I hope. If it is, that's like the dumbest part of the whole game. They have all this smart stuff and then they do tooth enamel. I can't really stop moving because those guys are pretty quick. Faster than I can swim without this. Oh, this is the jelly shroom cave. 30 seconds. We don't go down there because it's scary. Ooh, what's down there? Um. So there are these big, big mushrooms, right? And they kind of have mm -hmm. holes in the center of them. And okay. inside the hole lives something called a crab snake. And they bite. Crab snake. Um, if I can get down there fast enough, I will show you. Is it more like a crab or more like a snake? More like a snake. There's one in the distance. There's one. Oh. And they live inside the mushrooms. Yep, there he goes. Oh no. Swing back in there. How was that? Chinese potato? That's the thing I'm growing inside my um, habitat. How did I get here? I don't know. Why didn't you pick it up? Uh, it did say rotten underneath it. Oh. Uh, my theory is that uh, Chinese potatoes take up a huge amount of space in your inventory. Uh, my theory is that I was carrying it and needed the space for something else, so I dropped it. Hmm. Love to find one of these dumb teeth. Um, you know, my character has always just eaten them raw, so I don't know how they do cooked. That's gross. Should, like mash them or something. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Mmm. Oh, those red fish are the ones I gotta watch out for. One fish, two fish. They're called biters. And they bite. Distantly related to bleeders. Because they latch onto your arm and suck. This is so dumb. I will have to look up a better way. <laughs> uh. 
You know, they don't have a, a pufferfish equivalent in this game. I don't think. They could have done something neat with that, I think. Um, get some oxygen. I'm gonna pause. And I'm gonna go online. Because I have the wiki up. And there. Um. Ah. Sometimes drop by stalkers when they pick up an object. They sometimes leave behind a single tooth after picking the. Salvage up. Interesting. Or if you. Sakura Takasuma. Oh, you can see this, but the stream can't. Yeah, if you ram into them. Um. Oh, is that what that sound is? A nearby stalker, stalker dropping a tooth is indicated by a loud cracking sound as if breaking a bone and a low tone. The audible range is quite short. I was always wondering what the hell that was. Neat. Okay. We gotta find a stalker. Pick that up. Now... That's really fast. Now break a tooth. Doesn't seem like you did. Or maybe you did. Nope. Maybe you should come back with a Seamoth. Yeah, maybe. be night. They did say they kind of glow in the dark. Wow, that's a lot of them. Reminds me of uh, the Gungan area, the Gungan um, water. See, you know they're like uh, the city. Yeah.
water. Okay. All systems online. That's what I thought that noise was. But they said a cracking sound and a low tone, and I'm not hearing the low tone. than I do. It's when they drop it or when they pick it up? When they pick it up. They said to let it attack? Yeah. Oh, let's get him away. I like how he's just picking up the, the salvage and then kind of throwing it up in there and letting it drop and then doing the same thing again. They are simple creatures. Or not there in the water. Aurora Rendezvous. This is why we must use diction. A tooth. Oh, I just heard something. Yeah. I think that was him eating that fish. Alright. What's crazy? 
crazy is you can kill these guys and you still don't get it. Apparently if you make the exosuit and punch them, that sometimes works. What's he called again? Stalker. Stalker. Zoot stalk. have to say about this. How to get a stalker tooth. I'm watching, uh, watching this video. And the same thing. The stalker's like picking it up and dropping it a lot, and he drops a tooth like pretty often. I think he just got to bring some salvage over to it. I, I guess. I have to do it. I I don't know. This is also a very old video, so maybe they changed it. A lot has changed. You found one. That's all it takes. All I needed was one. All right. Now they're all very mad. <laughs> what are you playing with? Uh, fire. What? I think I'm dropping things. I was playing with the uh, fidgets. And then previously a coin. I was playing with the coin. Yeah, I did hear the coin. I wasn't sure if that was the same thing. Doing that sleight of hand thing. Oh. For friends. <laughs> You do it with a back palm. If 
back here. These are really good to eat. They're very fast. Yeah. Friend is good. I wish they came in different colors. Like I could hatch several friends. Welcome aboard, Captain. But I think they're they're all blue. glass is glass. Oh, I think I made a glass. Welcome up all the time when I was Captain trying to make um, all systems online. The storage locker. I just need Aero two arrow gel, which is a gel sack and I think lithium? Ruby. One ruby, one gel sack. One ruby, one gel sack. Man. Now I think it used to be around here somewhere. But that's okay. So because this is a mobile vehicle, I have to make it in my mobile vehicle bay. And it's so mobile that I folded it up and put it in my cabinet in here, so I'm gonna go get it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. It's a mobile, mobile vehicle bay. Yes. first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power prawn operators <laughs> of training to counteract this phenomenon you will have to make do with self-discipline <laughs> that's awesome all right that was it so let's gather this up There it is. Welcome aboard, Captain. I got 
punch and punch. Nice. Um, but I should build the drilling arm and the grappling arm. It uh, it helps me move around because I do have jump jets. I'm a little stuck. jump jets. Cool. Honestly, I want to see you punch a fish. It's going to have to be a pretty slow one. Nice. It's dead. Well, this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Got a pretty far reach. I'm gonna see if I can put it in my moon pool. Hopefully I can. There we go. I assume you can fit it in your submarine as well? I can, but not with the Seamoth, it's one or the other. Hmm, that makes sense. Change its colors. Oh, cool. You're just a prawn in my little game. Terrible. Unfortunately, I can only have two at a time. Um, so I can't have all four of these. Mm. Uh, but I'm really into the drilling arm. Five titanium, a lithium, four diamonds. Man, this planet must be really close to the sun. It has very short days. It does. Uh, we also get a lot of eclipses because that big giant red moon. Mm. Five titanium. There's one lithium and two diamonds. Three diamonds. Ha ha ha. Four diamonds. Ha, ha, I may ha. have to just go get more metal salvage. I'm not sure I have any titanium here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Well, that will be a project for another time, I think. It is definitely time for me to go to bed. It's getting a little bit late. Return my bed. Well, this has been fun. This is a great game. Um, the developers have done a fabulous job. Um, because even though I know so much about it, like I can find my way through caves and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, it still scares mm -hmm. the bejesus out of me. And uh, I think that that really shows you what an excellent job they did with atmosphere. Um, it, it looks very pretty. And I'm saying that when I'm also seeing it from a, a like through a Skype, uh, Whatever it is, screen share. Yeah. Um, so that is the end of that. This was a very long stream. Um, How long was this? Oh, like a million years. A um, million years. It was. I was like two and a half hours. Two hours, 23 minutes. Um, so thank you. If anybody ever watches this, thank you for doing so. I can't imagine that you would because we're pretty boring. Um, there's some really great videos. There are some like honest YouTube content creators out there who have done gameplay in this. I think the one who got me into it uh, was a guy named um, Frankie C in 1080p, I believe his name is. 
Um, and I saw him play it once and just got really intrigued by it. Um, Markiplier's done some great work in it. Um, so yeah, if you ever stumble across this video, I urge you to check out People Who Do It Better and um, see if this game is for you. It very well may be. Um, this has been a lot of fun, and I'm going to stop streaming now. Thank you very much.